Welcome to the channel. Following on from a recent video where we analyze an image using Gemini Vision through Google AI Studio, this time we're going to pivot and show you how to install Olama 3.2, which is a local LLM, then give you the ability to easily access this through a browser instead of a terminal by installing Web Open UI in a Docker container. And finally, we'll demonstrate the legendary LLM Vision to use the Alama database from within Home Assistant. Now with all this newfound AI intelligence, you can watch the video on AI wildlife and start using your local AI to analyze pictures and stop sending them into the cloud. You can then report this information back to Home Assistant through the companion app, or even tell you through your smart speakers. Now that's a truly useful AI function that has so many user cases. Now that's a lot to go through and we'll be going pretty quick. But if you only want a portion of the installation, then use the timestamps in the description to jump to the relevant section. Your time is precious, so let's dive on in. For this tutorial, we'll be installing onto an Apple Mac, but the fundamentals apply to equally to Windows-based machines. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see the Windows-based equivalent. Ideally, you'll need 16 gigabytes of memory to avoid slow response. But remember, Macs share main memory and video memory, hence why they are so well suited to local LLMs. It should be a silicon-based Mac, so an M1, M2, M3 or M4. This is not 100% vital, but you're going to have a much better experience if it is. And you'll need a Home Assistant installation that can run Supervisor, as we'll be running an add-on called LLM Vision. Navigate to olama.com, link in the description, and press the download button. Select your operating system. Now, as mentioned, I'll be installing on a Mac, but the process is very similar on a Windows or Linux machine. Your download will start, and once completed, it will be available in the downloads directory. Press the downloads icon in the top right hand corner. Double click on the Olama file. Confirm that you wish to open the file. Confirm that you wish the app to be moved to the applications directory you'll be greeted with a welcome to Alarma. Press next. Confirm that you wish to install Alarma by pressing install. Provide your system password if asked and press OK. Now copy the command on the screen by pressing the copy icon to the right. Now press finish. Alarma is now installed and running. Open a terminal window and paste in the command that you just copied. Now press enter. Alarma will download the Llama 3.2 database. This could take some time, so be patient. Wait for the installation to complete and close the terminal window and confirm with terminate. Next, we need to install Docker. Navigate to docker.com. Press the download Docker desktop. Select download for Apple Silicon. Again, be patient, this is half a gigabyte in size. Once completed, press the downloads icon in the top right hand corner. Double click on the docker.dmg. Drag the Docker application into the Applications directory. Now open the Docker application. If asked if you wish to open the application because it was downloaded from the internet, press Open. If asked for your system password, enter it now and press OK. The Docker desktop will now open. We'll need to create an account. Press the Create account. Enter your account details for the email, a username and password. And press Sign up. Now log into your account. If asked if you wish to allow the website to open Docker, press allow. Answer the questions in the survey or simply press skip. Docker is now running in the background and we can leave it alone. Now we have the Alarma 3.2 model running and Docker installed. We need an easy way to access the LLM and not have to use the terminal window. This is where Open Web UI comes in as this will give you a web-based front-end that allows for easy interaction with a Llama 3.2 model. Navigate to Open Web UI, link in the description. Scroll down to the section that says Quick Start with Docker. In step one, press the copy icon to the right, open a terminal window and paste in the code and press enter. If asked if Terminal would like to access data from other apps, press allow. This will pull down the Open Web UI Docker image. Once completed, switch back to the Open Web UI page. Press the copy icon in the command in step two. Switch back to your terminal window and paste in the code and press enter. Once finished, you can switch back to Docker. 
press the link which will open the web UI interface for the first time. Press get started. Enter your name, an email address and a password and press create admin account. If shown a screen about what's new, you can simply cross out of this. You'll be dropped back into the web UI. Here you'll be dropped into your first model, in my case, the Llama 3.2, but any model that you have installed will be available from the drop down in the top left hand corner. Now you can interact with this model that is running everything locally with no internet connection required. I'm running this on a base Mac mini 4 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I found the response times to be good considering the limited RAM. Your mileage will vary. Let's do a quick test. Let's put in a prompt of write a limerick about a man called George who went on a boat to America and press enter. The response is quick and even funny. Now this is a text based model and has no vision based capabilities. For that we're going to need a different model. So let's go and download the Llama 3.2 vision model. Open a terminal window. Copy the Llama command from the description and paste it into the terminal window and press enter. This will take some time, so be patient. Once finished, you can close out of the terminal window and switch back to the open UI browser page. Now let's test it out. First, we need to switch to the vision model. In the top left hand corner, press the drop down for the models. Select Llama 3.2 vision. Copy a picture into the window. Ask the model to describe what the picture is. The response is much slower, taking around about 30 seconds but I am also recording on the same machine, so it's getting a real workout. For those of you with powerful graphics cards, TPUs, NPUs, and more memory, this will be much quicker. Regardless, the model does a great job of describing the image. Now we have a Llama running and linked into our text-based model and even into our vision-capable model. Next, we're going to allow Home Assistant to use these models and all locally. Now there are a few different ways of doing this and I'm going to describe what I believe is the easiest way using LLM Vision. Now LLM Vision is a hacks integration that allows for Home Assistant users to leverage multimodal large language models from within Home Assistant. So you can pass an image taken from a camera as we did with the AI wildlife video or from your video doorbell, pass it into LLM Vision and have it describe the image. With this response, you can either send that image and the description to your Home Assistant companion app or announce it on your smart speakers. So how can we do that? Well, we're going to need Hacks installed. Hacks stands for the Home Assistant Community Store and is an integration and front-end components that the community have developed. If you don't have this installed, then watch the video in the pop-up above and come back once installed. Navigate to your Home Assistant. Select Hacks in the left-hand menu. Now search for LLM Vision, or one word, and select. Press the download button in the bottom right hand corner. Confirm by pressing the download. Refresh your screen and the download button will disappear, confirming that the download was successful. Navigate to settings. You'll see that the LLM Vision requires a restart. Select it and press submit and press finish. Now my home assistant is running on a small form factor HP Elite and I've installed Alama on my Mac. As such, I need to make the Alama on my Mac available to my home assistant to access. Navigate to the LLM Vision page for self-hosting. Open the Alama section for your machine. In my case, Mac OS. Copy the command for setting the environmental variable. Open a new terminal window. Paste the command and press enter. It will not respond with anything, but there is no error, so therefore the function has worked. Now you must restart Olama here, otherwise it will fail. Your Home Assistant will have restarted by now. Open Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the Add Integration button in the bottom right hand corner. Search for and select LLM Vision. Select the drop down. Select Olama. Now press Submit. Enter the IP address of the machine that is running Olama. Leave the port alone and press Submit. You'll be greeted with a success message. Press finish. Now let's test it out. Navigate to the developer tools and press action in the top menu. In the action, search for LLM Vision. Now select Image Analyzer. Use the drop down in the provider. Select the Olama on the port address that you just entered. Tick Model. For the model, if you have not set the default, 
then type Llama 3.2 Vision colon 11B or the name of the vision model you are using. In the prompt, type describe what you see in the image. Now I've already loaded a picture into the file system, which is described in the AI wildlife video. Scroll down to the image file and select. In the field, type the path of your image. You can leave all of the other parameters unchanged. Now press perform action. Now, dependent upon the machine that is running a llama, this analysis can take some time, so be patient. But when finished, the LLM vision will describe what it sees in the picture. Now, by following the instructions in the AI wildlife video, you can send this to your Home Assistant companion app or to your smart speakers. Now we've covered a lot of topics in great detail. Setting up a llama, loading a text to text and image to text model, loading open web UI to view our results, installing LLM vision and linking it to the Alarma running on a different machine and to analyze a picture and describe what it saw. Now you have all the tools for a local AI integration, be it describing your security camera footage or telling you when a parcel is delivered. The options are endless. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you'd like to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if you want to chat with like-minded people, then why not join our Discord channel where smart home enthusiasts meet to solve each other's issues. And if I helped you set up local AI and integrate with Home Assistant, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.